Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Joe, and you're watching the Lost Cause Ranch, and we're sitting in between a couple Land Rovers again. That's right, some more Land Rover content for you. That's what we love. And today's video is just gonna be a little short one regarding the LR4s, mainly the five liter, and it's Achilles heel. Why are these LR4s such a bargain? Well, let me show you. Hmm. I think I hear another Land Rover. Alright, so we got this LR4 tore down a decent amount. This is a 2012 with just 95,000 miles. And the major downfall on this generation of Land Rover is the timing chains. They do a little rattle rattle and that's no good. So we can go to this side, got a little play. Nothing terrible. Let's go over to the driver's side. Well, that's that's not good. She's got a lot of floppage. Let's go down by the crank here. And you can see that is extremely loose. And then we go play on this side. Oh, that guide has a little bit of play. That bolt is broken. Hmm. This guy right here was sitting down in that area. So that bolts on with this guide bolt that is no longer functioning correctly. And this guy here is the upper oil feed for the chain. See, there's a the little sprayer there, so if we can get it to focus. And it got shredded to bits. The rest of it is still in there. You can kind of see it's a little dark, but it's right there. So although the tensioner bolt shearing off is a neat failure, that is not the common failure on the LR4 timing chains. It's going to be kind of hard to see since we don't have this one apart yet. But that tensioner right there, the piston wears right into the aluminum guide. Therefore, cannot put enough tension on the chain. And that is why this chain is loose. Because that piston is wore right into the guide. They did update the tensioner and guides, and the guides now have a steel button as a wear surface pressed into the guide to prevent that from happening in the future. So this one is the worst one that we've had here that was still running. We've had some that don't run anymore, but this one drove into the shop, made quite the racket, and was pretty close to a catastrophic failure. Glad it didn't do that. But that right there is a quick little peeksy as to what goes wrong in some of these five liter timing chains. And that is a bad thing, but it's also a good thing. Because of that, it's kind of like the Porsche 996 IMS era. Because of that, everyone is so scared of these that it drove the price down on the five liters to the point that you could pick up a nice LR4 for $15,000. That's a pretty good bargain for what kind of vehicle it is. Uh, all the room, seven passenger. Good styling if you ask me, I like boxy things. You get the chains in these and they are a pretty reliable vehicle in Land Rover terms. We're gonna have that caveat, little caveat, in Land Rover world, a LR4 is a pretty reliable one. It is not quite as reliable as this. Engine-wise, we got a 260,000 mile LR3 with the 4.4 liter V8. And that thing's on original chains. I don't know what they messed up there. I mean, suspension's seen better days on this one. That's why that one's in here. But original chains on that, we've serviced that one for 150,000 miles, so I'm pretty confident that's on original chains. But outside of timing chain failure on the five liters, and that's five liters, 
in the LR4, five liters in the Range Rover Sports, full-size Range Rovers, the supercharged Range Rovers. They all suffer from this and we see them at 80 to 130,000 miles typically. But yeah, in case you were ever curious, that is what happens with these. They're not supposed to flop like that. This isn't supposed to move that much. You shouldn't be able to pop it off the gear. That's no good. But either way, we'll get this one all fixed up and good as new in the timing chain department. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching tonight. Quick little video. We'll catch you here in a couple days. And if you want to see some more Land Rover content, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you found this informative or entertaining, give us a like and let me know your stories of Land Rover timing chain failure in the comments down below. We'll see you guys on the next one. And don't think that the three liter supercharged LR4s, the 14s to 16s, are immune to the same problem. We have this one with 112,000 miles sitting here. Also needs chains. But this one needed chains for too long. And now we gotta pull the heads because the valves used up the same space as the pistons. And now we don't have compression. So we'll get that one ripped apart. But the three liters are kind of starting to suffer the same issues as those five liters in fact you can't see it on the other side of that white cherokee there's another one that probably has the same issues sitting up there and speaking of issues this thing just showed up off a transporter from oklahoma the paint looked like a booger in the pictures but i didn't realize it was this then you see they got got a little bit on there and then, oh, they just didn't paint behind there. It's flaking off there. We didn't even prep it. I don't know what in the crackhead went on with this. We got this nice custom bumper that fits fantastically. Hopefully they went into production with those. And while we're at it, we're going to do a little PSA today. You should not let your brakes go this far down. That is getting to be like a razor thin rotor. That's how thick it's supposed to be. I'm sure these brakes, along with that timing chain, just started making noise yesterday.